everyone, this is Jay Kalpana here. In this video, we are going to solve this differential equation. So, let's get started. Problem. Solve cos x tan y plus cos x plus y into dx plus sin x secant square y plus cos x plus y into dy equals to 0. Solution. Given differential equation. cos x tan y plus cos x plus y into dx plus sin x secant square y plus cos x plus y to dy equals to 0, which is all. M, M dx plus n dy equals to 0 form. By comparing these two, where m equals to cos x tan y plus cos x plus y and n equals to We'll get m and n, okay? n equals to sin x into secant square y plus cos x plus y. If partial derivative of m with respect to y is equals to partial derivative of m with respect to x, then we can say that the given equation, say 1, is an exact equation. Okay? So now we'll find the partial derivative of m with respect to y and partial derivative of n with respect to x. Partial derivative of m with respect to y equals to dou by dou y of m cos x tan y plus cos x plus y. Since we are doing partial derivative with respect to x, so x is considered or treated as constant. So this equals to dou by dou y of cos x tan y plus dou by dou y of cos x plus 1. This equals to since cos x is constant, so we'll take it out and we'll find the partial derivative of tan y with respect to y, okay, plus dou by dou y of, we know that cos a plus b equals to, since cos a plus b equals to cos a cos b minus sin a sin b, so you can write this as cos x cos y minus sin x sin y. Okay. So here cos x and sin x will be constant is equals to cos x. Derivative of tan y is secant square y plus dou by dou y of the first term cos x cos y minus dou by dou y of sin x into sin y. Okay. Cos x and sin x are constant. So we'll write it outside the derivative. It will be easy, no? To reduce the complexity, we'll just mark the constants. And this becomes cos x secant square y plus constant 
into derivative of cos y with respect to y minus constant sin x into derivative of sin y with respect to y is equals to cos x secant square y plus cos x into derivative of cos y is minus sin y minus sin x into derivative of sin y with respect to y is cos y is equals to cos x secant square y minus cos x sin y minus sin x cos y is equals to cos x secant square y into minus of okay cos x first term will be as it is from the last from the next two terms will take minus common and you can write this as sin x cos y plus cos x sin y minus into sin x cos y is minus sin x cos y minus into plus minus cos x sin y okay we know that sin a cos b plus cos a sin b equals to sin a plus b so now we can replace this by sin a plus b so this becomes cos x secant square y minus sin x plus y right okay. so therefore do m by do y is equals to cos x secant square y minus sin x plus y now we'll find partial derivative of n with respect to x do n by do x is equals to we having n equals to sin x secant square y plus cos x plus y do by do x of n sin x secant square y plus cos x plus y since we are doing partial derivative with respect to x so y is treated as constant so secant square x secant square y is constant from the first term and here y is constant okay this is equals to do by do x of sin x into secant square y plus do by do x of cos x plus y is equals to let's write the constant outside the derivative secant square y constant into do by do x of sin x plus do by do x of we know that cos x plus y equals to cos x cos y minus sin x into sin y So here cos y and sin y are constants. We can write that as secant square y into derivative of sin x is cos x plus we can write this as do y do x of first term cos x into cos y 
minus rho by rho x of sin x into sin y. So now we'll write the constants outside the derivative. Is equals to secant square y cos x plus constant into derivative of cos x with respect to x minus constant into derivative of sin x with respect to x is equals to secant square y into cos x plus cos y the derivative of cos x is minus sin x minus sin y into derivative of sin x is cos x so this equals to secant square y cos x plus plus into minus minus sin x cos y minus cos x sin y now take minus common from the last two terms So you can write this as secant square y cos x minus of sin x cos y plus cos x sin y. Since we know that sin a cos b plus cos a sin b equals to sin a plus b. So this is all sin a plus b form right sin x plus y so now we can replace it by sin x plus y this equals to cos x secant square y minus sin x plus y so therefore partial derivative of m with respect to y equals to Partial derivative of n with respect to x. Therefore, dou m by dou y equals to dou n by dou x. Since dou m by dou y equals to dou n by dou x, from this we can say that the given equation that is 1, therefore 1 is an exact equation. So now we'll find the general solution for this to this exact equation. The general solution is given by the general solution of exact equation is Integral over x m into dx plus integral of terms of n free from x into dy equals to constant. So firstly we will find the first integral integral over x m into dx here integrating m with respect to x treating y as constant this is equal to integral of m cos x tan y plus cos x plus y into dx this is equal to since we are integrating with respect to m and y is treated as constant, so here tan y will be constant and here y will be constant. Okay. So let's write the constant outside the integral tan y into cos x into dx plus the second integral as it is cos x plus y into dx. Since we know that integral cos x dx equals to 
sin x okay and integral cos ax plus b into dx equals to 1 by a into sin ax plus b okay so here y is treated as b and coefficient of x is treated as a or we know that cos x plus y equals to cos x cos y minus sin x sin y then integral cos x plus y into dx will be here cos y and sin y are constant right then integral cos x cos y dx minus integral sin x sin y into dx is equals to you write the constant outside the integral you can write double as in cos y into integral cos x dx minus constant sin y into integral sin x dx is equals to cos y into integral cos x is sin x minus sin y into integral sin x is minus cos x so this equals to sin x cos y minus and minus plus cos x or sin y cos x which is sin x plus y which is equals to sin x plus y okay Can use this or can use cos ax plus b dx formula, which is equals to sine ax plus b by a. Okay, then this becomes tan y into integral cos x dx is sin x plus integral cos x plus y is sin x plus y. Okay. Now, coming to the second integral. Terms of n free from x. Do we have any term which is free from x? No, we don't have any term free from x. Here you are having sin x into secant square y. You can't take this. And here also you are having x plus y. So take integral of terms of n free from x is 0. Equals to integral, we don't have any terms which is free from x, so take it as 0, dx equals to 0. Okay, so therefore, the general solution of 1 is integral over x, I mean to dx is tan y sin x plus sin x plus y plus integral of terms of n free from x into dy is 0 equals to c. Then tan y sin x plus sin x plus y equals to c is the required general solution. Okay. So this is all for now. Hope you will understand. We will see you in the next video. Until then. Bye bye.